And then from here, all I would do is take a good quality, either grapeseed oil or unrefined peanut oil. So we're gonna cook this at a high temperature, 400 in the oven. And those are the only oils that I would cook with, except for maybe coconut oil. And unrefined coconut oil also takes a good high temperature. A grapeseed oil, I would just pour that over here and then get it all mixed in. I would just actually mix in the, the um, grapeseed oil or the peanut oil, unrefined peanut oil, mix it all in. I like becoming a little bit intimate with my vegetables or my food and just get it all mixed in there. And once that, you would have these covered with oil. I'm just gonna pretend we're doing that here. I would add salt and pepper. I'm just gonna put some pepper on it and salt. I only use unrefined sea salt that helps the body, it gives us our trace minerals that we're missing. This I happen to have today is Himalayan salt, also very good, has a lot of nutri nutrients in it that are great for the body, all the trace minerals. Salt and pepper that. Tamari is a great flavoring also for our root vegetables. It's a natural brewed soy, um, soy sauce. It doesn't have the added um, sugar to it and other added flavorings in it. It's a natural brewed soy sauce. For tamari. And then from there, I would go out to my garden. Now the, the um, herbs that I put on my roasted vegetables are easy to remember. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Pretty easy to remember those. So I went out to my garden this afternoon and I picked some parsley. So we got some wonderful parsley here. Parsley, I had some sage. I have some purple sage and I'm just going to take a couple leaves and put that in. I have a twig of rosemary. We're just going to cut off some of this. And anything left over, I'm going to put in the leftover vegetable pile. I'll put a little bit of the rosemary in here, some sage, a little bit of the parsley, and then we also have some thyme. I'm going to break off a little bit of the thyme, take it off the stem, add that to the pile. And then just as when it's all together, I'm just gonna dice. Just dice, dice, just keep dicing this up. Now putting this together, this is probably takes 10, 15 minutes just to get this started, to roast up these vegetables, get the herbs. And I don't think that there's probably anything that you do during the day that's more important to ourselves than feeding our families and feeding ourselves some very good quality um, food to, to um, to build our immune system, to give all our body all the nutrients it needs to build a healthy body. I mean, how much time do we spend a day in line at the, you know, getting our cappuccino, latte, mocha, whatever? How much time do we spend in line or working on our hair in the morning or, or trying to decide how much clothes? Take a half hour at the end of the day to prepare ourselves a wonderful meal to build our system, to build our body, to give our body all the nutrients it needs. Going out to dinner once in a while is fine. Uh, prepared food, fast foods, it's fine once in a while, but they're not going to give our bodies what it needs. And we need this food for long-term health. I, I think we all know somebody, or maybe at some times when we're not feeling our best, and we know what it's like not to be feeling our best and not to be our healthiest. So this is something we can do to ensure that we are going to be as healthy as we can as we grow older, so we can enjoy life more, we can get out and do all the things that we want to be doing. So I take these diced herbs, I'm going to put it over the vegetables, and I'm going to put it in the oven for um, maybe about an hour. Actually, I would probably do the beets a little early, put the beets in 15 minutes earlier before all the other ones, because the beets are more dense, and they're going to take a little bit longer to cook. But that's it. And just throw them in the oven, put them in the oven for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, stir them once or twice, like 10 to 2. 400 degrees, and what you end up is just a beautiful dish of fall vegetables. All the fall colors in there, Brussels sprouts, the red beets, the delicata, I've got some hams in there, and carrot. That's just so wonderful, so nutritional, so, so many nutrients in that, and that's just a wonderful dish. Last night when I was making this for dinner, I actually just had a big pot. I cut up a lot of vegetables, so I have enough for last night's dinner, I'll have enough for tonight's dinner. <coughs> so you prepare one, you cook one, and you can help you have enough for a couple of meals. So that's the roasted winter and fall vegetable.